solving right triangle using trigonometry. So we are going to solve a right triangle using sine, cosine, and tangent. We just have to know three parts. So what are the three parts that we have to know? We have to know the three sides over here has a corresponding name for each one of them. So first is the H, which is hypotenuse. Hypotenuse here. The A, which is the adjacent. And then O, which is the opposite. Now the question is, which one is going to be the opposite? Which one is going to be the adjacent? And which one is going to be the hypotenuse? It depends. But the only fixed thing in here is the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is the longest side. It's always here. That is always our hypotenuse. This is fixed. It's always going to be there. That's fixed. Unlike the adjacent and opposite, they depend on the angle. Let's just say the angle is here. Let's just say angle A. Or let's just say angle X. If my angle X here, if my angle X is in here, the opposite to that one, the opposite side is this. Why? See this angle? The one opposite to it is, of course, the opposite side. And, of course, the remaining side is the adjacent. Or the side beside it. Next. What if the angle is here? Let's just say angle Y. The opposite to the angle Y is now here. And the adjacent, of course, the other remaining side. Now, as you can see, the adjacent and opposite, they depend on where the angle is. Unlike the hypotenuse, it's always going to be there. For example, and then what is this so katoa? This is just an ab abbreviation. So means sine the angle. So so means sine the angle. This is a symbol for an angle or some books. You can use theta, x, any variable. Sine the angle is equivalent to o, o, oh. So it means opposite over hypotenuse. You can see it here. Opposite and then hypotenuse. Now, cosine. Cosine the angle. Cosine A is equivalent to A. Ah, so adjacent over hypotenuse. And then lastly, Toa. So tangent, the angle is equivalent to opposite over adjacent. You just have to memorize this abbreviation and this will be easy. Now let's try to solve some equation. So for example, I will just erase the angles in here and let's try to solve a question let's start with the missing angle for example let's just say the angle A here is missing but I have I have two sides that are available it could be two or three if there are two then it's gonna be easier because if there are three, you might be confused. But we are going to go on that later on. Let's just say I have seven here. Now this is my angle. So A. The first thing that you have to do is to label the available sides. So we have a seven here. And what is that seven? So that is opposite. So we have to label it as O. And of course, this is always our H. Now as you can see, we have O, H. So which of, the, of these three should we use? And of course, that's the sign because of OH here. So all you have to do is to write everything. Sine the angle is equals to the opposite, so 7, over 10. Now we're going to look for A and what is our A? A is equivalent to, you just have to bring it to the other side using a sine inverse. You will see this symbol on your calculator. It's on top of the sine. So sine inverse of the 7 over 10. And then just put it on the calculator and you will get an answer. So for example, I have a calculator here. So sine inverse. You can see that one. Sine inverse over there. And then just write 
7 over 10. Just make sure you close the bracket because some calculator, it will give you syntax error. And make sure it's in degrees. And you will get an answer which is approximately, let's just say, 44 degrees to the whole degrees. So it means our angle A is approximately 44 degrees or rounded to the whole degree or nearest degree. So the, the thing uh, on this one is if you are looking for the angle, we always use the inverse. So you will use sine inverse, cosine inverse, tangent inverse when you are looking for an angle. I'll just erase this. Now, we are going to look for a missing side. Let's just change our given. So let's just say we have here 50 degrees. And I want to look for my x here, this part over here. So how are we going to find that? First, you have to label your missing information and the given information. So this one, of course, is always the hypotenuse. It's hypotenuse. And x is adjacent because this one is opposite and that is adjacent. I'll just remove it. So this is our adjacent. So A and H, so K. So just put everything on this uh, formula. So cosine, cosine the angle, what's the angle? 50 degrees, cosine 50 degrees, cosine the angle is equivalent to adjacent. Adjacent is A, we don't know what A is, over, or let's just say x, it could be a or x, but here it's x, so I'll just write x. x over hypotenuse, which is 10. Now, just like normal algebra, if I want this one, I have to multiply both sides by 10 over 1 to cancel this out. So I have to multiply this by 10, or x divided by 10. If you move 10 to the other side, do the opposite of divide, which is times. Same thing. So x is equals to 10 times cosine 50. And then, you can just put it on the calculator. So I'll just put 10 times cosine 50. So as you can see, I wrote it in there. 10 times cosine 50. Now, you can also write cosine 50 times 10, but make sure you close the 50 in a parenthesis because the calculator might think that you're multiplying 50 and 10 before it does the cosine. That's why it's better to put 10 on the front side. And then you will get an angle, which is, I mean a side, which is approximately 6.4 rounded to one decimal place, or let's just say 6 to the whole number. So x is 6. <coughs> and as easy as that. And that's how you're gonna do You're gonna do it when the missing information is the side here. Now let's, let's do the last one when the missing information is the denominator. So last one. So let's just say the hypotenuse now is missing. Let's just say same, 50. Oh no, adjacent is missing. Let's just say the adjacent is missing here. Let's just say x is missing. And then we are given the opposite, which is 10. So again, first thing that you have to do is to label those information. So we have this here, opposite. So just write opposite. And we have it here, which is adjacent. So, TOA, I mean OA, TOA here. So we will be writing tangent. A, what's my A? My angle, 50, is equals to opposite, which is 10, over adjacent, which is, I don't know, so that's X, unknown variable. Now, I'm going to teach you how to, how to do a shortcut in here, only for these cases, because there's an algebra or a mathematical reason behind it, but to make it short, if you are missing the bottom part here, if you're looking for the bottom part, you can just switch this and this. You can switch them, you can switch the position. What do I mean by that? It means it will just be x is equals to 10 over tangent 50 degrees. You can just switch them because you can cross multiply and then divide both sides, which will 
be the same equation. So a shortcut is just switch them. And you will get now the answer upon writing it on the calculator. So you will just write 10 over tangent 50. Now just make sure you close the bracket in order for us to not get a syntax error. You may use your GDC here. And you will get an answer which is approximately 8.39 or let's just say 8. Just uh, a whole number, 8. Therefore, our 8, I mean our x is 8. And that's how you do a, trigono uh, a trigonometry on a right triangle.